Hello, hello, hello. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night, I'm Brenda. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. What about you? Thursday. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. Nice. I can see your, your kids playing around. <laughs> what? You know, I can hear I can hear your, your uh, kids or your daughter, you know, playing around. <laughs> My baby. That's I have... your baby, right? Uh huh. But she she's she's posing it here. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh huh. So she has you know she has company, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <That's nice. laughs> this is terrible. Yeah. Just like mine over there, he's playing over there, and he's also terrible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, you you know, some of you told me that the platform was down. Is that what happened? Uh, you were not able to work in the platform? I have to work in the platform. Yeah, but, you know, some people told me that the platform was not working. Is, is, that, is that what happened? I try to to uh, use the platform and, and don't work. Okay, so it didn't work. Uh, so I would suggest you give it a couple of hours. I don't know because I, I'm I'm already over here, but uh, I don't I don't see there's a problem. But you know, with this connection and the service and this stuff, you never know. Okay. So, but you know, but keep on trying. Keep on trying, please. Okay, so 11 participants right now. I have Alex, Brenda, Edgar, German, Mr. Mangandi. How are you, sir? And then we have Hilda, a Karen. Hello, good, good. good evening, sir. And then Karen Galdames, Mr. Michael Franco. All right, and then Roberto Celaya. Xavi Rivas, and I think I didn't say Alex. How are you, Alex? Good, very good, and you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Nice. Okay, so today we're going to uh, switch the topics just a little bit because my plan is for us to cover the, um, you know, section four today, okay? I mean, we're not going to be using the platform because, you know, that's not my plan. But what I'm saying is that I'm going to try to cover the second content, which has to do with Section 4, okay? So that's what I'm saying right now. And, yeah, as right. you said, the, you know, the platform isn't really working. Something right? wrong. I that's have something. to complete that for lesson. Oh, because it didn't, it didn't get saved. It didn't save the, what you did. So that's what you're saying. Okay. Okay, so according to, to this, you know, we have the scope and the sequence of, of the section four, and then uh, the main topics are simple past versus present perfect, which I think we cover uh, in a good way the last three days. And I don't think it will be necessary for us to, you know, keep on uh, talking about this, at least for this week. Maybe next Thursday, we're gonna do like a wrap up, okay, or, or a recap with all the topics we just covered. Starting with the simple past, with uh, did and were, was, and then simple past with versus present perfect, in the right questions, et cetera. All right? Okay. So that's why tonight we're going to start with this, you know, sequence adverse or sequence adverse. So let me stop sharing this screen. That was just a heads up. And I got, I think, an idiomatic expression that you, ladies and gentlemen, are gonna be very happy to learn, okay? Or at least to know how to say it in English, okay? Actually, it's not an idiom, uh, forget, for, forget about that, it's just a word, okay? But I think most of you are going to relate. Now that Christmas celebrations are coming, you don't wanna be one, one of these uh, people, okay? The word of the date is wet blanket. You know, 
I'm very, uh, I'm nostalgic with this word because I remember when I was uh, at college, my, my first English teacher, you know, taught us this word. You know, it was like around 6 a.m., the first class in the morning. And ever since uh, she said this word, you know, I actually learned it. It took a while. Yeah. Okay, wet blanket. <laughs> Any ideas? Like children are wet blankets or adults are wet blankets? <laughs> Okay, any clues, any, any hints? Never. Okay, no idea. So you have no idea at all on this? I uh -huh. think that is a, una, a cobija mojada. Yeah, but that's, that's the uh, literal translation, but you know, an idiom or, or words we do over here. So they're not really, okay. If you translate it, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so you gotta figure out the meaning. What about if I give you a meaning over here? If it, okay. is, is it going to click a person who spoils other people's fun by failing to join in with or by disapproving of their activities? This is what the dictionary is telling us. But it's still, you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you have no clue, you know, the uh, equivalent in Spanish, or the translation, we're, we're still lost, you know, in the moon. Okay, now, what if I give you an example? A negative person who tends to ruin other people's good times. It's still, you're not getting it? Yes or not? Can anybody tell me, yes, teacher, I think is, is, this is the meaning, or I don't know. Yeah. Alex or anybody, can, can somebody tell me, I think uh, this, this uh, word wet blanket means in Spanish, this and so, or something like that, post? Es la persona que arruina la fiesta. Yeah, but that's, I would say, the definition. But what about the specific word that we call that person? Uh, how, how do you say that? Uh -huh. Agua fiestas. <laughs> exactly, you got it. Agua fiestas. That's a wet blanket. Okay, if you had a wet blanket, it means that you ruin the uh, okay the joy or the excitement out of something that it's happening like a party. Okay. So don't be a wet blanket. You know when they play cumbias. <laughs> All right, and I have another equivalent to this word in English, but I don't think that's a very uh, appropriate or, or, or courteous or polite, but that's the language that so I need to share it with you, all right? If I were you, I would stay with wet, wet blanket because wet blanket, I would say it's uh, widely used among speakers. The next one, it's a little bit more informal. So I'm warning you, it's up to you if you wanna go ahead and use it. So don't be a wet blanket, that's a good example. Okay, if you understand the meaning. Don't let Joseph come on, uh, come on, you know, come on, the, on the Vegas trip. He's only going to be a wet blanket and take the fun out of everything. So if you're the type of person who takes away the fun out of everything, you are a wet blanket, okay? Vamos por un parcito, people say that. No, I mean, I don't like drinking, okay? You are a wet blanket, or you're responsible, you know? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go watch El Clásico, you know, uh, over there, you know, uh, El Basurero, over there. <laughs> Never yeah. been there, by the way. <laughs> yeah, et cetera, right? Nice. Party pooper. Oh, my God. Yeah. That, that's what I, I warn you, you know, I warn you, okay? So I'm yeah. telling you. I never use I never used this word before, like in a sentence, or I, I've never told anybody you had a party pooper. And you can figure out the meaning, right? Just by pooper. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe with friends, you know. Yeah, yeah, that, you're right. That, but, but with people you don't know. Like in the office, you cannot call your, your boss. Come on, you're a, you're a yeah. party pooper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, said, okay, next. I have to let you go. <laughs> to let you go, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, you're no longer necessary and not needed okay. <laughs> in the company. Yeah, party pooper. But, okay, so be careful on this. But it's the same meaning. You see, a person who ruins a party 
by either stopping the fan or not participating in a certain activity. Okay? All right. So I cannot call you, you know, uh, a party pooper. I can call you, you're a wet blanket, okay? I think this has to do with children. And I, I, I also believe that that's the origin of this, of this word, wet blanket, okay? Nice. So John is a party pooper because he won't play spin the bottle at a party. Okay. Yeah. That involves drinking, you know. <laughs> okay. Spin the bottle. <laughs> nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and use this. I, I, you know, I warn you, try not to use this one. At least think, you know, how you're going to use it or who you're going to use it with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so if you, took, if you took notes, that's great. First activity besides the uh, vocabulary word would be sequence adverbs. Simply, if you're ready words on the platform, you know, uh, these are words to put things in order. <coughs> okay, and there are many, many words like adverbs. You know, we have adverbs of frequency, adverbs of place, adverbs of manner, etc etc so these ones are to provide a sequence and the most common ones because these are the most common ones are first next then and finally to describe the order in which two or more actions happen you can have uh, after that but th you know those ones are compound because they have two words but you know one single or uh, other sequence the other sequence others are this one Making an omelet, you know, we don't eat omelet in El Salvador, you know, by the way. <laughs> First, I break the eggs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, I, I call that in back in Sultan huevo en torta, or torta de huevo, we say that. Yeah. But, yeah, I never made an omelet, you know, to be honest with you. First, I break the eggs, then I heat the butter in a pan. Okay, be careful, you know, pan, you know, no el pan francés, you know, it's the actual frying pan. Next, I add the eggs. Finally, I eat the omelet with toes. First, you go to the supermarket, you get the six pack, you go home. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you argue, you argue with your wife and then you give her one and then everybody's happy, you know. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> sequence others. Let me, let me, let me, let me stop sharing this screen. And um, I'm going to go to the platform because I want, I want you to listen to the explanation briefly. You know, my boss, you know, everybody's boss, you know, in, in English Corporativo is the one who makes these videos. Okay, so, and since I, I'm not allowed to use any other uh, audio program without uh, any copyrighted uh, issues, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one. So I'll be sharing the, uh, the audio for you. And we take it further. If the quality of the uh, audio program is not good, or if the platform, you know, does not respond, <laughs> we're gonna move with, with the next activity that I got pricked up for you. Yeah, right. Okay? <laughs> yeah, most likely this is not going to wake up, you know. Nice. Yeah, okay, present perfect, that's the one. Yeah, in this way, we take advantage of, of the platform and see uh, the activities. Uh, in case you haven't uh, have the chance to complete them. Okay, yeah. sure. So we have this exercise. You know, actually, uh, I'm afraid I cannot say the name of the book, uh, English Corporativo, you know, used to make these uh, videos and this platform, but I can nothing. tell you, uh, excuse me? Um, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I can, nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down. Uh, but I, honestly speaking, I can say this, my first experience with the English language was through this book, okay? So this brings me uh, good time memories, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. So I can assure you that it's a great book, all right? Yeah. So that's what it is. So this, those images, and actually I have the hard copies of the book somewhere, or maybe I threw them away or I gave them away. Okay, already. So this is a screen I'll be sharing. Just uh, pay attention. I hope you know you don't fall asleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna start with the conversations and everything. A couple of exercises. We go with Randall. Remember yesterday, Emily and Chepe. You know, similar conversations. Hopefully. Okay. So 
yes, Angel, uh, yeah. you, you missed the fun yesterday, boy. Yeah, because I, I have a, oof, a lot of work in my, yeah. my job. <laughs> That's understandable. You, that's why we eat, you know. We have something to eat. <laughs> we put in our yeah. tables, you know. Nice. Um, hold on, please. Let me fix this. And uh, here we go. Let me just, uh, I'm going to play it. And if everything is working just nice, just, uh, you know, give me the thumbs up. And all right, so we take it from there. There we go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go full screen. You know, hopefully, hopefully the uh, connection it's it's stable. Okay, and here we go. So you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a Can piece of paper yes? and be yeah, able yeah. to explain yeah. it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, Turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Mm -hmm. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. Nice. Guacamole dip, right? A friend from yes. New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, mm -hmm. then toast it. After that, let it cool a little, and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Mm, okay. The uh, bagel, right? Now, let me get started by explaining uh, what okay. these adverse okay. are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, okay, first then, then, next, next after that, and after finally. That. All right. Thank you. Similar to the audio program, in this case, we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top, we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mm -hmm. mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb. We use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> It what looks basically simple, right? did was that yeah. we <laughs> organized our ideas and we explain in this case a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then, toast the slices of bread. Then, spread the mixture on the toast. Then, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Then, try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that. So, therefore, we use different words to explain 
Yeah, good to know that, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I'd like to point out yeah, when we're talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or want to give some sort of yeah uh, now that you guys are intermediate then I would say you guys are learning at a very high, high pace you know you can say first of all second of all etc right mm -hmm. so you, you can add first then off or F and then all so first of all you do this and then second of all and this third and fourth that's another way you know to, yeah. to, to yeah. express the same uh, idea excuse me it's an ordinary <laughs> Spanish. Correct. Correct. <sighs> yeah, ordinal numbers over there. Okay. Recipe. Okay. Finally, should always come at the end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together. Next, toast the slice of bread. After that, so it could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then needs to comes after first. You can use those three interchangeably. Okay. Uh, the last thing that I would like to speak about. Yes, go ahead. Uh, we can use uh, after that, after that, and um, later use then again. No. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, in real life, <laughs> let me be honest with you, <laughs> it's it's up to you. You can say then, then you can say, okay, first I did this and then I went uh, to the other place and then that's okay. So it's up to you. You can say after that, you can say then, you can say next. Those three ones, those three uh, sequence adverbs mean exactly the same. And okay. later we can use this in this time. Which one you said? Later. Yeah, you may say, and later on, you will say, and later. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, you may say later on. But in this case, since the process is, is I would say, pretty uh, soon, you do the, the steps at the same, I would say, in the same uh, moment. So you don't wait later on. It's for something that you do after two hours, for example, or, or after an hour, or after, you know, the day is over. I would say later on, you're going to, uh, uh, I don't know, watch TV or, or, or uh, watch the news. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in this case, there's there's a, uh, an order, you know, the one you're following. Okay, so that's, okay. that's the main difference, yes. Okay. Um, now, your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So, for example, we have... So the boss is telling us right now, actually my boss, is telling us that what you're supposed to do is to think of a recipe that you enjoy, either cooking yourself or somebody else, you know, cooking for you and or, or eating, you know, <laughs> that, yeah. that applies to everyone. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah. <laughs> correct. Correct. And, and. That's the last activity we're going to be doing tonight, you know, for the last 10 minutes. I'm going to ask you, so you have, let's say, three, uh, three minutes, write a conversation, and then, uh, if you like, share it with me, okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be uh, giving away, uh, I, can give, I, can, I can also share my in Gmail if you want to send it over there to have it more organized, or you can share it to my private hey, WhatsApp, all right? So in that way, I can actually give you some corrections privately. It's better for me and easier for me. Okay? okay. Yes. Now let's put this aside for a second. All right. So don't be a wet blanket, remember. <laughs> yeah. I will say the other one because I respect you, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. Totally. Now it's this one. Just as a recap, you know, sequence adverse. What's that? I hear you ask. Well, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Actually, it's not complicated at all. It's all about making sure things are in order, especially used in cooking. So some examples of sequence adverbs are first, next, secondly, lastly, before, after, finally, and then. Okay? So you may, you decide, you go first of all, second of all, third, after that, okay, the next thing I did, etc. Okay? So here we, uh, we see how an omelette, again, is made using the words above and the pictures. Can you choose the correct sequence adverbs? 
Okay, I'm gonna uh, put this, you know, on hold just for a second because the first time, in the first activities you're gonna be practicing in the breaker rooms are gonna be two. This exercise, okay, and okay. and uh, a conversation. All right. So, okay. but bear with me just one second. Okay. Um, a little bit of patience over here. A uh, graph. I'm, I'm gonna ask you something. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a big favor right now. A uh, graph. I don't know a piece of paper, a page, or somewhere, and uh, write one, two, three, four, and five. If you can do this in your cell phone, that's okay. We're gonna take this quiz, which is someone cooking. I don't know what actually. <laughs> You know, but this guy is cooking a recipe, okay, a dish. Mm -hmm. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the quiz, you know, just right now, okay. Yes. And hopefully, and hopefully, German, you know, this time the uh, listening matches the quiz, <laughs> not like yeah. last time, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't promise anything. Actually, listen to this, right? So you know, grab grab a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, and write from one to five. And uh, what you're gonna do, just on the same piece of paper, just put A, B, or C, A, B, or C. And what you're listening, okay, what you're listening, just mark uh, A, B, and C, okay. But I think I'm gonna also uh, send to you this, uh, you know, this screenshot. Okay, right. send the link. Excuse me? You send the link. No, not right now. <laughs> yeah, right Why? now I'm gonna... I'm gonna be a wet, uh, you know, a wet blanket, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The thing is that I, I want everybody to be here and like, if you were in a classroom, okay, and you know, we miss those days. <laughs> Actually, I do. Oh, okay, hmm? and. Pencil on a paper. <laughs> I'm gonna send the image to you. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> The thing is that I really want you to like mark the answers like, okay, number one is A, number two is B, number three is C, et cetera. Okay, okay. Okay, yes. <laughs> so one second over here and we have, um, hold on, let me find the, uh, the proper, <sighs> there we go. Okay, so that's the quiz, okay? <laughs> You got it? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Yes, I'm not sharing a screen now. Uh, let me share this. All right. Okay. So um, as you can see, we have what do you do first? Maybe cook rice, heat a pan, and chill vegetables. If it's something that requires heat, most likely it's going to be heat a pan. All right? But I don't promise anything. What do you do second? Heat a pan, throw a garlic in, shell vegetables. Number three, what do you do third? Heat a pan, throw a garlic in, shell vegetables. What do you do fourth? Uh, the same, heat a pan, add vegetables, add rice. What do you do last? And then the three options over there. Okay, so you have the image. So you may have the image in your cell phone if you're using your cell phone over there. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, and then just pay close attention to this. Just, you know, mark it, mark it down. Check it out, all right? I'm telling you this because I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, share the audio and also the screen of the quiz. But, but do you, got, you get my idea, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, good idea. Okay. Thank you. Let me just get the... Uh... <clears throat> the audio. Hold on. Okay, yeah, found it. <laughs> yeah, you know, last day of the week for us to be here in class, it's it's a little bit, you know, harder, but uh, I appreciate you, you took the time. Here we go. So with your cell phone or just with a piece of paper, so be ready, uh, you know, to check it out. Here we go. So let me mute your microphones, okay? All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, sorry about that. I, I just want to make sure that I, I, 
I, I, I'm sharing the, the audio and everything. Sorry. There we go. So, Jill, how do you make that fried rice again? You've forgotten already? Okay, first you need to cook the rice. Then, while it's cooking, you can chop the vegetables. After that, heat some oil in the pan and throw in the chopped garlic. Then you can add the vegetables and finally the rice. And don't forget, keep stirring as you add everything. Is that it? Yeah, it's really easy. Wow, great. Thanks a lot. I'm going to give it a go right now. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, if you know how to make rice, this was easy for you. Okay? <laughs> All right? Okay. Nice. Did you get it? Uh, did you get it like the sequence, right? Over there? I yes. think so, right? Nice. Okay. Let me... Uh... Can you repeat the audio, please? Sure, no problem. Here we go. One, two, and three. Hold on. Let's see if I can... Uh, you know, share the, uh, the image in here. Yeah, maybe uh, it's going to work if you're able to see this. I don't know. So, Jill, how do you make that fried rice again? You've forgotten already? Okay, first you need to cook the rice. Then, while it's cooking, you can chop the vegetables. After that, heat some oil in the pan and throw in the chopped garlic. Then you can add the vegetables and finally the rice. And don't forget, keep stirring as you add everything. Is that it? Yeah, it's really easy. Wow, great. Thanks a lot. I'm going oh, to give it a sorry. go right now. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Actually, it's a weird recipe because here in El Salvador, we do something different. Okay. First of all, I think uh, you hit the, uh, the pan, you add the oil, and then the chopped vegetables. Right? And then finally, when it's brown, you add the rice and you add you pour some water and you just let it heat over the right cook. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I do know how to make <laughs> rice. All right, so let me stop this. And yes, this time I'm going to send the uh, the link uh, to you. But first of all, let's see, Hilda, would you like to help us with the uh, process? over here, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, what you do first? Yes, um, first. He says cut rice. Okay, second. What after that? Um, after this says uh, chop vegetables. Okay. Next. Um, in the three I heard she say throw carp in. Yeah, correct. On the and, form, mm -hmm. I hear she say, uh, I ate rice. Okay, and last? And last, she say, um, que agregaran todo, pero creo que vegetables, ate the vegetables. Okay, okay, thank you. I actually didn't write anything down, so I'm doubting the you know, number five, number four, and number five. All right, but that doesn't actually re really matter because this is a weird way to cook rice, okay? <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to send the, uh, you know, the access to this conversation right now, okay? It's actually pretty simple and pretty short, so that's why you're going to be working on two activities, as I said, you know, previously. The first one is uh, I'll be sending the uh, the image of a, of a recipe, you know, the process so you can figure out what they're actually talking about, about over there. Okay. So did you get the, the uh, access to the conversation? Yes. yes. Okay. So basically you're going to be uh, working on two things. And uh, I would say, first of all, practice the conversation, okay? You may practice twice. 
and then try to put these uh, numbers in order. Okay. Okay, you go. First, fold the omelette in half and enjoy your omelette is ready. I think that's the last one, all right? So two uh, tasks you're gonna be working on right now, that conversation and then put this in order and try to use the, uh, the frequency, I'm sorry, the uh, sequence adverse. Copy that? Yeah. Nice, okay. Breaker rooms are open, go ahead please, enjoy it. Okay, thanks sir. Yeah, I know you're here to practice. You know, you're not here to, to hear me speak. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be a wet blanket or the second one, you know. <laughs> nice. So, Angel joined, uh, Ashley joined. So, Karen joined Mr. Chavi Rivas. Nice. Jacqueline is with Roberto, etc. So, Roberto Celaya, please join Mr. German. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Uh, All right, so... Is it uh, to, to practice the conversation? Yes, yes, the conversation that... Ah, okay. Correct. Practice a conversation and then check your WhatsApp. I just send the uh, image uh, for you to organize the uh, the sequence. Uh, is the conversation about Mike and you? No. Yeah, it's the one you just heard. Uh, okay. but, let, but let me see if, yeah, Mike and Jill, that's the one. And then uh, check your WhatsApp. There's uh, uh, an image I just sent to you. I, so take a look and try to put the uh, okay. uh, that process in order. Do you okay. see? All right, go ahead. yes, go ahead, please. Okay, if you want, I am Mike first. Okay, so Jill, how do you make that fry rice again? Forgotten already? Okay. First, you need to put the rice. <laughs> then, while it's cooking, <laughs> while it's cooking, you can show. I start or you on him? Uh, well, I know. Uh, well, Samuel, I don't know. He's here to hear him. Okay, well, okay. again. Uh, uh, so, Jill, how to make uh, that fry again, rice again? You forgot it already? Okay, first you need to cook the rice, then while it's cooking, you can chop the vegetable. After that, heat some oil in the pan and throw in the chop and the garlic. Then you can add the vegetable and finally the rice. And don't forget to keep stirring, stirring as you add everything. Yeah, stirring means... Is that it? All right. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really easy. Wow, great. Thanks, I'm going to give to uh, God right now. <clears throat> Good luck. All right. Thanks. So, so everyone, once you're done practicing, when, once everybody is practicing, uh, Chavi, Cutting, and you, Angel, yes. practice at least yeah. at least one time being Mike and one time being Jill. The yeah. second team, the yes. te second team will be <laughs> me to bless you. The second team is to to organize the recipe that I just sent to you. You know, to order the uh you know the steps oh yeah ch check your whatsapp please okay yes yes ah, it's okay okay i receive this okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just put a number in there like in here if you think that mm -hmm. the first one is beat the x into uh, into a bowl you put a number one over there, you're like an imaginary number. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then it's gotta be first, second, and third. Replace it with that. Copy that? Yes, yeah, sir. Copy that. And let's try to do it all together, but one second. Let's try to do it by yourself, okay? Like individually. Yeah. Because remember, <clears throat> learning, learning, <clears throat> it's a personal experience. And then just share what you had. <laughs> okay, okay, sir. Thank you. What do you do, Trim? Um, you can add the vegetables and finally the rice. And don't forget, keep the stirring so you added everything. Don't cover it in. 
Uh, uh, first, you chop vegetables. What do you do second? Hit a pan. Hit a pan? Oh, throw garlic in. No. Throw garlic in. What do you do third? Oh, number no. one. Number one is a, a good rice. Um, no. Number two. She say, uh, if you need to cook rice, is and after that she says the the recipe, the receta. Uh -huh. And and the first in the recipe is chop vegetables. What do you do first? Chop vegetables. No. No, you, because you know, after after the you cook, so first, first you cook the, the rice, right? Oh yes. But That's... you see, you see, and in, in the third one, after after the two, after you cook rice, but where you wanna cook? Mm -hmm. So after that, you wanna hit the pan. That's that's. <laughs> It makes no sense, right? It's illogical, right? Yeah. It's yeah. not. What it's about what about what about this one? Did this image over here? We know the last one is fold the omelet in half and enjoy your omelet ready, right? This one. Let's let's work on this one. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah, this is what you're supposed to do right now. Okay, so oh. you have the process of the numbers over here. First of all, if I were you, I would just write a number down. Maybe this is the, uh, one, two, three, it's five steps. So this will be number five. Let's find the first one. Um, and, then, and then the second one and so on. Okay. Okay, but I gotta go. This image is in the uh, in the chat, all right? Ah, okay. Yeah, it's over. check it out, please. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Forget <laughs> But I think I'm gonna close up the rooms and, and you know put you with somebody else so you can have the chance to practice. All right, all right. But but so gentlemen, try to do it you know individually, and then uh, ask your classmates. So do you agree with this? Do you think this is number one or just? Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm gonna close this okay. right now. Hold on. All right, so I think uh, we already have a full uh, a full house back in the back in the floor. So uh, let's try to put the steps to uh, you know to make uh, an omelet, you know, to make it an omelet uh, in order. All right, but yeah. we're not gonna do it right now as a class. If you already did it, that's great because you're actually advanced one step ahead. But I'm gonna send you back, you know, to uh, practice with somebody else, okay? That steps, you know, to making the uh, anomalies, okay? So okay. all you got, all you gotta do first of all, just, you know, see how many steps, you know, are there. So and there are five. five steps. So, uh, five steps. Yes. so identify the last one and the first one, and then just go with the ones in between. Yeah. So, so just go, let's say that this would be number five. And then if you think this is number one, you put number one. But once you do that, you know, you put the numbers one, two, three, four, five, replace them in your mind with a sequence adverb. Okay. Yeah. So you will go, all right, first of all, after that, then next, finally, it's up to you, but let's do it individually. And if you need help from your classmates, they're going to help you. And once you're done, just just practice. Okay, so first of all, you do this. But let's go, you know, let's go beyond. Let's go the extra mile. Try not to read, or at least say, okay, first of all, at least say the sequence advert without looking at the screen. Like at first, fold the omelets in half and enjoy. Your omelet is ready. Just like that. So try not to be just like this in your in your uh, screen. 
Okay. 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 Yes. <sighs> Understood. Thank you. Uh, one sec. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> Rooms are open. Go ahead. Okay. Right. Hi. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello. Yeah, I think your partner is on the way, or maybe he uh, or she just joined already. Or not? I don't know. I was alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think Veronica is over here. So, Veronica, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. All right. So, uh, try, try to do this individually, uh, like put the numbers like in order you know the steps and then in your mind okay. just just try to replace okay replace the numbers with a sequence ever like first slide the mushrooms then beat the x into a bowl uh after that at all blah 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 but i want you to, not to read like okay first of all and then it's like you got explaining really explaining to someone okay please okay thank you Okay, uh, first we are going to order. Yeah, do it individually, you know, like maybe quietly and then, you know, join information. Okay. Share the information. Okay. Thank okay. you. No, <laughs> I can't get it. I put the eggs into a frying pan, add the mushroom and cook. And finally, for pour the omelette in half and enjoy. Your omelette is ready. Okay, now me. First, it's like the mushrooms um, before put the, put the, uh, beat the, the egg into the bowl. Um, then add the, the salt and the pepper, in the pepper to the egg mixture. Um, after after that, pour the eggs into the frame pan, add the mushrooms and cook, and finally fold the omelette in the half in half and enjoy your omelette is ready. Nice, pretty simple, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go back to the main session. We're gonna do something else. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Teacher, thank you. What? All right, so we are back. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Edgar if, he, if you could help us, Edgar, with, uh, you know, with the process in here, please. We know how to cook uh, an omelette. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, of course, teacher. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, you know, very quickly, help us over here. So, okay. First, what are we first, doing? Yes, yeah, like the mushroom. Okay. Uh, after that, big beat the eggs into a bowl. All right. Uh, next, add right. salt and pepper to eggs mixture. Let me stop you over there. Yes, add salt. 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 Okay. And, and mix mixture. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry about that. Mixture. mixture. Okay. Yes. And pour pour the eggs into a fry pan, and add mushroom and cook. And finally, fold the omelet in a half, and enjoy it. Your omelet is ready. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Thank you so much. Yeah, and that's you know that's how you're supposed to do it. You know, maybe I don't know if that's the way you do the omelet, but at least the sequence works. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I have a last conversation for you. You just close the uh, the wig with the. Uh, Uh, a conversation like the ones you, we practiced yesterday, you know, with that humor, not Chepe and, and Maria. No, it's going to be something else. Okay. <laughs> but uh, this one has to do with following some processes. You're not going to take a quiz or something like that because we don't have time. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to send you the access to the script. Okay. But... Remember, since it's a listening and a speaking exercise, okay, first play the audio, listen to it, you know, listen to the pronunciation, remember everything, the intonation, and then read the script and get to practice. Okay? Okay. The name of the activity is called English Language Center. Okay. We have nine minutes and, and, and then this is history. Okay, there you go. Can you please just uh, let me know if you got it? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Now, let me give you one minute for you to listen to the audio, get familiar, and then I'm going to split you into the breaker rooms, okay? Okay. So go ahead, please. Hi, uh, can we practice? Yep. Let me uh, send you back to the breaker rooms so you can go ahead and practice, okay? Let me just one second. Come over here. All right. Go ahead and practice, please. Monica, are you having issues with your system? All right, so uh, Mr. Angel. So Angel, can you hear me, sir? Angel, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 sir, yeah. Excuse me, guys, I, I, I say mute. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Uh, so let's go, let's go ahead and practice, please, the uh, okay. conversation. I'm afraid yeah. I cannot share the screen with you because, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. No, no, no. Uh, let's try to do it. Okay, I'm going to be the, the uh, caller. You're going to be the receptionist. Okay? Okay, okay. In English language center. English language center. I'll, okay. I'll, be, I'll be there. Uh, I am sorry. You're, you're the... Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Go correct. No worry. No worry. Uh, English language center. How may I help you? Yes, I'm calling to find out more information about your program. For example, what kind of courses do you offer? Well, first of all, uh, the, the proposal the program is provide language learning <coughs> opportunities to this area's community, mm -hmm. uh, whether 
mentor of students goal is a master based basic functional language skills let's say for his in his or her job and study interview and, and to enter a u.s college or the university okay i'm calling for a friend who's interested in attending a u.s university and that the kind of the of the instructions that we provide for basic communication courses to content based classes such as computer literally uh, inter intercultural communication and business english okay so <coughs> literacy li literacy means the ability to write and read es como yeah. la habilidad de leer o, o escribir yeah yeah Great. Yeah. What are you? What What are your application deadlines for the next semester? Well, we ask applications to apply to no later, and then two months before the semester begins. This gives us time to process the application and use the study I twenty. An I an I twenty. Oh, an I twenty is a form that indicates that we are giving permission for the students to study into the our group program and then the student takes this form uh, from the u.s embassy and his his or her country to apply for the f1 student visa visa all right so what's the tuition for a full-time student it's a two thousand thirty dollars and how does one apply well, we can send you an application and you can mail it back to us or you can fill out application that's online on time on your website. And are there any other materials I would need to send in addition to the application form? Yes, you will need to send us $35 not refundable application. Uh, <clears throat> it's a, sp a sponsor shipping from indicating in who will be responsible financially and for the student while the student is studying uh, in the in your program. Yeah, uh, Angel, I'm sorry about yeah. that. I'm, go I'm gonna catch you over there because I need to give the last instruction. The class is about to finish, you know, two more minutes. Okay, okay. Yes, thank you. Let's, let's go back, please. It's a long this conversation. <laughs> it was a very long conversation. Yes, I, I, I didn't yeah. mean to kill you, but even though you, you were not able to see so many sequence adverbs, at least the reception is used first of all, and then she provided a sequence of events, right? Okay. okay all, all the steps or requirements. So that yes. was the idea. That was the idea. So in real life, you don't really need to use a sequence adverbs as, as long as you provide a, an organized uh, sequence of events. Okay, all the steps. Now, since the class is about to finish, but well, we still have one more minute, I need to remind you right now, uh, grab a piece of paper or just in your cell phone, please. And, uh, think of a recipe, as I said at the beginning of the class, that you cook, you know, you know how to cook, or you have to watch your wife, your sister, your mom, you know, cook. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have eaten, you know. I cook it. <laughs> yeah, a sandwich, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mess up. Many dishes. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and that's going to be uh, the homework for over the weekend or for the rest of the days, you know, for next Monday. And I know you have to complete the platform, but right now I want you to tell me, or if it's not maybe a recipe, tell me how to fix, I don't know, something, if you're good at fixing or how to install a program, if you know how to install a program. So, okay. it could be any process. All right. So if for you, you're good at cooking, so let be it. If it's uh, how to fix your car brakes, go ahead, you know, do it. <laughs> okay. okay. Etc. cetera. Are we, are we clear? Yes? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes. Yeah, it's clear. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So officially the third week of, of this module is over. Okay. One more week. Hope Bye. you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> practice. Hey, hey, goodbye. Bye. Have a nice thing weekend. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. A long Bye. weekend, right? Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Portense bien. Always. Always, right? Bye. Otherwise, yeah. invite me.